Hello Grade 7 students! Welcome back to our Quarter 1, Module 3, Arts and Crafts of Luzon, Elements of Beauty and Uniqueness. It is indeed true that the arts and crafts of Luzon are uniquely wonderful. The different attires, fabrics, and tapestries, crafts, and accessories, and body ornamentation are truly amazing. The artist's imagination in crafting their works is incomparable. In this module, you will be able to define the different elements of arts, analyze the different elements of arts used in select arts and crafts of Luzon, Highland, and Lowlands, reflect on and derive the mood, idea, or message emanating from the given artifacts or art object and appreciate the design by differentiating the elements of arts used. Before we proceed to our next lesson, Let's have a short review of what we have learned in the previous module. Write your favorite architecture, sculpture, and everyday objects from Luzon. Describe your chosen artwork. Write your description in the second column. Then write your explanation on what makes the artwork unique. Write your explanation on the third column. In this module, we will focus on the elements of arts as applied in the said artworks from Luzon. You will learn the elements of arts like line, shape, form, value, color, texture, and space, as well as their difference among each other and how artists applied this in their artwork. The elements of art are the building blocks of all art. Every artwork or art piece created compresses one or more elements. And of course, you need to know all of these first. The first element is line. A mark down by any tool that marks as it moves across a surface. Line can be long or short, thick or thin, rough or smooth, dotted or broken or solid. They can make straight movements, zigzags, waves or curls. They can be horizontal, vertical and diagonal. Lines can convey different emotions as well. Other lines which can be measured, geometric, directional, and angular are called constructive lines. They tend to appear to be a man-made because of their positions. Expressive lines are found in nature and are very organic. The next element is shape. Shape is created when a line becomes connected and encloses space. It is the outline or outward appearance of something. Shapes are two-dimensional or 2D which means you can measure its height and its weight. There are two basic types of shape, geometric shapes and organic shapes. Geometric shapes have smooth, even edges and are measurable such as square, circle, triangle, and rectangle. Organic shapes have more complicated edges and are usually found in nature. The other element is form. A form is a shape that is three-dimensional or 3D that has height, width, and depth. For example, sphere, cylinder, cube, and cone. The fourth element is color. Color can add interest and reality to artwork. These colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. There are three primary colors, the red, yellow, and blue. These colors are primary for two reasons. One, they cannot be formed from other mixed colors. Two, they make all the other colors on the color wheel. Next is secondary colors. When you mix two primary colors together, you get a secondary color. For example, when you mix red and yellow, it will turn into orange. When you mix red and blue, it will turn into violet. And when you mix yellow and blue, it will turn to green. When you mix a primary and secondary color together, you get an intermediate color or tertiary color. For example, when you mix red and orange, it will turn to red-orange, yellow and green to yellow-green, blue and green to blue-green, red and violet to red-violet, yellow and orange, yellow-orange, and blue and violet, blue-violet. When color is divided into groups based on the way they are placed on the color wheel, it's called color schemes. We have four different color schemes. First, we have analogous color scheme. Complementary Color Scheme, Speed Complementary Color Scheme, and Triadic Color Scheme. When you use 3 to 4 colors next door neighbors to each other create an analogous color scheme. Two colors that are directly opposite each other going across the center create the complementary color scheme. 
and split complementary color scheme is a harmony of color that features a base color and two colors on either side of its complement. And triadic color scheme uses three colors that are equally spaced apart on the color wheel. Colors have temperatures. It is important that you understand the effects of color in every art piece. Colors can convey emotions and feelings too. Warm colors are those that have reds, yellows, and oranges. Warm colors seem to advance or come forward in an artwork. Cool colors are those that have blues, greens, and violets. Cool colors seem to recede or to go back into an artwork. Colors can be described by its properties, hue, intensity, and value. Hue is the actual color or the identity of a color. Intensity is the brightness or dullness of a color. Another element is value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. Value makes objects appear more real because it imitates natural light. When showing value in a work of art, you will need a light source. A light source is the place where the light is coming from. The darkest area are always on the opposite side of the light. Color value. When you use only one color plus its tints and shades, you are using a monochromatic color scheme. A tint is a color plus white and a shade is a color plus black. Another element is texture. Texture is the way the surface of an object actually feels. In the artistic world, we refer to two types of texture, the tactile and implied. Tactile or real texture is the way the surface of an object actually feels. Implied texture is the way the surface of an object looks like it feels. This is the type of texture that artists use when they draw and paint. The seventh element is the space. The distance around, between, above, below, and within an object. Positive and negative space is the way of an artwork is divided. Space is basically divided into three parts. Foreground, middle ground, and background. Space can be shallow or deep depending on what the artist wants to use. Shallow space is used when the artist has object very close to the viewer. Deep space may show objects up close but objects are shown far away too. Perspective is also a way of showing space in a work of art. Perspective is when the artist uses a vanishing point on the horizon and then creates a sense of deep space by showing objects getting progressively smaller as they get closer to the vanishing point. Objects may overlap as well. When objects are overlapped, it is obvious that enough space had to be in the picture to contain all the objects that have been included. Now, let's apply your knowledge on the elements of arts. For your activity 2, Art Attack, using the word art as an image, apply the elements of art in sketching and coloring it. Draw your artwork in a separate sheet of paper. And answer the following questions. Number 1. How was the activity? Was it simple or challenging? Why? Number 2. How did you apply the elements of arts in your artwork? Number 3. Now, based on what you have experienced in the art activity, write your own definition on the following elements of arts. Line, shape, texture, space, value, and form. Thank you for accomplishing the task. I hope that you learned the concept about the elements of arts. If you really want to appreciate the beauty and uniqueness of the artworks, you need to have a closer look and examine how the elements of arts were used in the design. This time, let us analyze the different elements of arts used in some of the arts and crafts of Luzon. Here is a picture of Cain, a wraparound skirt or tapis of standard Kalinga which is characterized by red stripes and white, yellow and black geometrical patterns. The color used in their textiles have cultural meanings. Red signifies bravery, black is for soil or land, white is for the flowers of the coffee trees, yellow for the sand, and green for the mountains. We can see that the weavers of Kalinga uses different kinds of line, shape, color, texture, value, and space in their textile. These elements of art make their product finest. 
In architecture, here is the illustration of the Mauni Church, a Roman Catholic parish church of San Machas Apostol in Isabela, Cagayan Valley. It is made from red bricks ornamented with carvings of flowers, leaves, scallops, saints, religious symbols, and other fanciful motifs. It has a unique cylindrical belfry that looks like a huge wedding cake because of its design motifs like laces, hearts, and beads. When we examine this structure, the elements of art make this church different from other churches. The use of straight, curved, diagonal, vertical, and horizontal lines highlighted the Baroque style of its structure. The choice of color, shape, texture, form, and spaces of different parts makes the church illustratious. For your activity number 3, here are some pictures of the arts and crafts of Luzon. Look at every single detail of the design and analyze the elements of arts involved. Below are the questions that you will use as a guide for your analysis. Letter A. How a specific element of art was used in the design. Letter B. How a specific element of arts added beauty and uniqueness to the design. Write your description and the given element for each artwork. Use a separate sheet of paper and copy the table format. Or you may write your answers on this activity sheet. For your assessment, the following are the elements of arts. Match column A to their description in column B. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before each number. For your week 1 output, this is how I appreciate art. Make a two-page scrapbook containing pictures of arts and crafts of Luzon, Highlands, and Lowlands. Show your appreciation for these arts by making a short description on how the element of arts were used in the design. Then take a photo of your artwork and submit it to your facilitator through the Facebook private group Batch 2021-2022 MAPEC Grade 7. Comment your output according to your section. Thank you for accomplishing all your activities. You really have shown that you've learned from the previous section of this module. Again, happy learning!